Hey there, Sugar Snaps. Welcome back to the studio. If you're new here, welcome in. My name's Brittany. I'm glad to have you. This week, I'm going to be working on kind of an extensive project. A friend of mine hired me to do a costume for her for The Chosen. There's going to be a crowd of 5,000 people, and she's going to be one of the extras in that crowd. These are two different designs that I kind of played around with and we talked through. She wants something that's very light because it's going to be hot Texas weather for filming. Okay, let's talk through the different elements of the costume and then maybe some of the steps that I plan on going through to accomplish this costume. The costume is going to include a dress, some sort of apron that will layer over top of the dress, a belt to hold all the layers together, a headscarf, a tie to hold the headscarf in place because it's supposed to be pretty windy in Texas in June when they're filming and um, so people have suggested having something to attach the headscarf in place so that it doesn't blow away. Anywho, lots of ideas to play around with, lots to do this week. So that's kind of where I'm headed. Let's go look at fabric. I went through my whole pattern stash and found this pattern. I'm going to Frankenstein to create a pattern that suits what I'm looking for. I found this sleeve pattern that I drafted for another costume and I'm going to add this to this dress, change the skirt up quite a bit, the neckline somewhat. I have a lot of adjustments to do, tracing paper, a pencil, and I'm going to be tracing the pattern pieces the size that I want and has all the design lines that I want and connecting the bodice and the skirt pieces so I end up cutting the panels all one piece. I got busy drafting the pattern and cutting out a sample and the actual fashion fabric, so I lost track of filming the process or sharing the story of the process. So I'm gonna do that now. So I traced out the pattern onto tracing paper, at least the bodice pieces, so that I could have that as a reference. And then I went in and started making adjustments to make sure that they were the right size for the costume that I'm working on and then drafted out the skirt pattern and attached the bodice piece to the skirt length so they would be long panels. Then I cut out and sewed a sample out of muslin to make sure that the measurements would fit in fabric form, not just in paper form, and had my dress form set up so that I could test it there made some adjustments and then I cut out the patterns out of the actual fabric that I'm using and I did this before I dyed the fabric because I wanted to just dye the pieces that were going to be the dress and save the rest or any excess material or scraps as plain so that I could dye them for future projects if I wanted to. They were already pre-washed. I added them to a bin of soda ash and prepared them for dyeing. And then I dyed them with fiber reactive dyes. So I laid my pieces out here to dry and the more they dry, the less I like them <laughs> or the like the color. So it's nothing like this golden color that I was going for. Uh, yeah, this isn't gold. So that's a bummer, got to figure that out. So I'm gonna take these pieces back inside and re-dye them. Okay, dresses in a new batch of dye. I decided to use the amber waves and just use the whole two ounces that I had or the rest of the dye that I had. So I dumped it in a new pot of, of the dye mixture and we'll see how that turns out. I am definitely riding the struggle bus this morning. I've spent a lot of time poking my spoon into the bath, the dye bath for the dress, hoping that it dyes darker. And it doesn't seem to be doing that. So I've walked away hoping that it will do it without me watching it, you know, like watch the pot boil. It's gonna take forever to boil. I think because it's straightforward and maybe we'll jumpstart my ability to get something done this morning, I'm going to sew the belt because it's a bunch of rectangles sewn together and then embroidered around the edge. So that's what I'm headed to do. 
For the belt, I sewed two rectangles together, ironed them right sides out so that they were nice and flat. And then I decided to do a running stitch embroidery along the length. And so I found this orange thread that matched the dress color and then started doing a running stitch along the length of the belt. The dye bath has been sitting for a number of hours now, so I'm going to go check on it. This isn't related to the costume, but I wanted to share it with you. I just started a basket a month club. It's a program that teaches you how to weave 12 different baskets in consecutive order. So you can join on my Patreon or on my website, textileindy.com, and I'll teach you the process of weaving rattan baskets from a beginner basket through to some more advanced baskets. You can start anytime and everyone begins with the same basket and goes through each of the 12 baskets so that you learn the techniques necessary to build each consecutive basket. I hope you get a chance to check it out and join me in that basket a month club. It's such a fun way to learn basket weaving and you can join my Patreon community where you can get feedback from me or ask questions and communicate with other people in the basket a month club. Now back to the costume. I had these panels of the jacquard that I sewed together, cut strips of this striped fabric and used them as a binding on the outside edge of the apron, surged that to the edge and then turned it and sewed it so that it was attached. And once all of the pieces were put together, I did an embroidery running stitch along the edge. The dress pieces are dry and the color turned out beautiful. I'm very happy with this golden color. It really fits the idea that I had in my mind. And then I started embroidering the belt with a similar color thread to kind of pull the design together. So pleased with that. I think the different fabric textures here will be fun, the different colors. And then I have this. The pink fabric I dyed for the headscarf. I'll be working on this later. Probably tomorrow though, because my goal tonight, and it's already pretty late, is to put the dress together, sew it together. I did not get as much done today as I wanted to because a bunch of other things came up as is inevitable in a long project like this. I seems like every half hour, some fire arose that I had to put out. But now the fabric is beautifully dyed and I'm going to sew this piece together. Once the dress was totally constructed, I used a block print that I had previously made and water soluble block printing ink and printed along the hem, the front of the dress, as well as the sleeve hems and just did a bunch of these little prints all along those edges. Good morning, sugar snaps. Day three of the shenanigans. I thought I'd give you a sneak peek of what I've accomplished so far. Here I have Marianne modeling the costume and I've thrown in a couple extra layers to add some interest. So the dress turned out beautifully. The color, I, I love this 
This mustardy goldy color. This is Amber Waves from Dharma Trading Company, the fiber reactive dye. Apron piece, I've added the tassels here to kind of get an idea of what that looks like. And I really think I'm gonna go with that. They're safety pinned on there right now, but I think I'm actually going to attach those. got some feedback on the costume the blue apron panel piece we were requested to not use that piece because of a number of reasons so i'm switching gears and this is just the way with costumes you make things and they don't work out so i'm ditching the embroidered belt as well as the blue apron and i have this white voile this is a very lightweight material cotton material um, that we're going to do a split apron like this one instead of the sound down the center It's going to be split on either side and have a panel down the back and I'm going to dye it this I don't know if you can really tell but this light greenish color. It's kind of a mossy green Also, I found two belts in my costume stash that I had previous dyed that I liked better that fit better than the belt that I had have been working on so I added those to the costume Okay, it's time for the reveal. I hope you're as excited about this as I am. It's been a long process working on this costume and going from different pieces and shifting gears to pulling in different pieces. So you might not recognize everything in this finished reveal. We changed out the apron to a piece of voile that we dyed this light green color. And then also the headscarf ended up using two different pieces of a really lightweight material, one in teal and one in raspberry. And so she's gonna use the raspberry color to wrap the teal piece over her head. Just adding color to her um, face area so that it brightens up her face. So let me share the photos with you now. Thanks so much for watching the process of making this costume. If you want to see more of my projects and my work, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to get notified whenever I put out a new video. Check out textileindy.com for tutorials and other goodies in basket weaving, natural dyeing, spinning, and other fiber arts. And I will see you in my next video. Have a good one. Bye.